Um, I think Rizal is going to stay there for another day um, or two and then we will just bring Rizal back um, in a couple days because he's still showing um, bloody stools so I guess we'll have to keep him at the clinic for now can't wait for him to come home but stay tuned for what's up ahead here on our daily vlogs bye Mobile High Squad mm, see ya Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Good afternoon, Mabu High Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Hmm? So today I am home alone with Ate LC and Koya Roman. RJ went to go visit the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Um, I decided to stay uh, so I could go to the gym, you know, hang out, do a little bit of work. So how's your day been, Mabu High Squad? I hope it's been great. The dogs are here. Just hanging out by the gate barking at random dogs that pass by and uh, sniffing things in the ground. What do you guys smell? What's there? Hmm? What is there, guys? This is so beautifully scaped, guys. Okay, so it turns out, see, there's a little koi in this pond. We found out from, the, um, from Nelson, the guy who comes to maintain everything. So there's a koi here, uh, and I would really love to put a turtle in here, but I feel like it would escape. It would like crawl out and then just like head out, head out the gate. No, Sahara. No picking up random rocks. No. That goes there. No. Out. Out. No. So guys, because Roman uh, took RJ to the Mobile High Squad farmhouse, we didn't have a driver. So I had to walk to the gym. Um, and I didn't bring my vlogging camera because I didn't want extra like like things to carry. But guys, it's such a nice walk. Walking out of the subdivision and then heading to the gym. Very nice. And there are um, tricycles that pass by this area very frequently, so it's super duper convenient. The dogs love it here. All day, they're running around, exploring, barking, sniffing into random places. Needless to say, we all love it here. Oh, and guys, this morning, I saw the most beautiful bird, um, and I believe it's called a shrike, and I saw it right there. Oh my god, guys, the most beautiful bird ever what is that wow oh my god it's gorgeous is this what is this is this a shrike oh my goodness so gorgeous all right so the dogs are enjoying this area right now <laughs> there's sahara basking in the light but this entire area will be walled off. As you can see, there's plywood there and there will be a plywood piece here. Rizal, our giant poodle, is coming home today. Now, if you've been following the recent vlogs, our giant poodle contracted parvovirus, canine parvovirus, even though he was vaccinated. Now, in case you don't know about parvo, they can still get it even if they've had their parvo vaccine, but the symptoms are minimized and it great, it, their chances of survival is greater if they do contract parvo. So thankfully he was vaccinated um, and he's in recovery mode now. Last Yesterday, the vet said he ate on his own, but he's still pooing blood. So we really have to keep an eye on him. And this entire area allows him to be isolated from the other dogs for a week. He needs to like be in quarantine so he doesn't transfer to the rest of the dogs. However, Parvo tends to be more of a puppy-like illness. Although any age, a dog of any age can contract Parvo, but it's the most risky and lethal for puppies. So um, these dogs are over a year old. Cypher's gonna be two years old. It was really Rizal, our six month old puppy poodle, who was um, at the highest risk. And so he had to go through the healing. They've been putting him on IV and all of that. And he's finally coming home tonight. We've got his crate here, which will open so he could crawl in here and sleep. Um, I feel really bad that he has to stay out here, but we kind of have no other choice like we don't want to risk him giving the parvo to the other dogs um, Even though all the dogs are vaccinated and you know, they're they're older We still don't want to risk it. So it's only for a week that he needs to live out here. I think he'll be okay It's not freezing out here. It's not too hot out here. So I think he'll be fine Saiz, do you miss Rizal? Do you miss Rizalzis? He'll be coming back today 
So as an update on their housebreaking, the dogs um, are 100% housebroken downstairs. But for some reason, they sneak up to the second floor and then they pee in the hallway. So from now on, we just don't give them access to upstairs because we, we keep them where we can watch them. Uh, but so we have this gate here to keep them from going up, sneaking upstairs and peeing and pooing in the hallway, which they love to do. So guys, apparently a typhoon is heading here tonight. Um, kind of worried. If that's the case, I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, where Rizal is, it's shaded. So like, if it were to rain, he won't get wet. Um, but like, winds might be strong. I don't know, we'll just have to play it by ear. I mean, if worst comes to worst, Rizal will have to probably be confined somewhere indoors. Let's hope the typhoon doesn't come to this area or isn't really severe. OMG guys, Rizal is here. Okay, they're here. Let's see, let's see. Let's see how he is. He's been away for five days now. Hi Rizal, please. Oh my gosh, he's struggling. Hey Rizal, we missed you. Yes. Okay, so we gotta put him in his area. Hey Rizal. Yes, how you been? Yes, you're just gonna live here for a bit. Huh? Okay. Hey Rizal. Oh, he's stronger. Oh, is he limping? No, yeah, he has another natural one. From the IV? He's limping from his IV on his leg. We've missed you, Rizalzis. Oh. He, I feel bad because he came to me and he wanted to jump on me, but I, I can't have have it all over me. I just showered actually. Hey Rizal, we've missed you. Yeah, we missed you. You have to stay here, okay? So what did the vet say? He's okay? He's recovering. Okay, that's good news. I mean, he's walking around at least. Hey Rizal Ziz. Yes. Hey Rizal. We missed you. You good boy. He's like so happy to be back. Yes. We miss. Oh, he's thirsty. Oh, let's give him water. That's a good sign. Hey, Rizal. Yes. He wants to be carried. Uh, sit, sit, sit. Good boy. You are a good boy, Rizal. You are a good boy. Brave. Very brave. Water, water. Oh, he's so thirsty. Good boy. Good boy. Wow, he's drinking a lot of water. So, do we have to give him meds? Yeah. We have medicine to give him, like orally. We're also force feeding him. Oh boy, with a syringe. Well, he was thirsty. Good boy, Rizal. We're so happy to have you back. Yeah, he's such a good boy and brave. Very brave. So, before he got parvo, guys, he was like 15 something kilograms, and then like when we started to notice that he you know wasn't eating and vomiting and we took him to the vet he weighed nine kilograms he lost like si almost six kilograms guys like parvo is really a tough tough virus he's so thirsty yeah you good boy we've missed you we've missed you we've missed you Rizalvi. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> ate elsie's missed you too yes you happy to be back home <laughs> so look at all the stuff we have here. I guess we're force feeding him or feeding him with orally with a syringe. Good boy, Rizal. Yes. So RJ, you really have to shower. <laughs> yes. We missed you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, good boy. We missed you, Rizalzis. You're so brave. My Buhai squad was praying for you. You happy to be back home? We're so thankful you're back home, Rizal. Yes, so happy. Good boy. Yeah, you'll be okay. Yeah, good boy, Rizal. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Mm. We missed you. I'm just gonna change my my pants. You're gonna stay out here, okay? Yeah. This sure beats the clinic, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, he's really thirsty. Oh my. Okay, is that medicine? 
the dextrose. Dextrose. Oh, in case of dehydration. Yeah. Oh, do we have to attach him to an IV? Okay, it's just in his mouth. All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, you'll just have to be separated from the other dogs for now, Rizal. Just extra precaution. So the vet says that he is contagious, but at this stage, not crazy contagious. Um, but, you know, for extra precaution, right? Like when you get COVID, you need to um, quarantine for like two weeks, is it? Uh, well, so for Rizal, it's one week, according to the vet. Just for extra precaution. What's he waiting for? He's like, I want medicine. That stuff was good. You good boy, Rizal. We're happy to have you back, yeah. Give me five. Give me five. Do you remember? He's like, wait, sit? Yeah, oh, yeah. Sit? Rizal, sit? Good boy. Give me five? Yes, you remember. You remember. <laughs> Guys, the dogs are trying to scratch to get out here. They want to play with you, Rizal. I think they smell you. Not yet, maybe in a week. How did he react when he saw you at the vet? Was he excited? Yeah, yeah so he peed. He peed? A lot. From when he saw you? From excitement? Oh my. Rizal, you peed? Out of happiness? That's interesting. We're happy you're back. <laughs> you're back. One. Oh, he's hungry. So we're trying to test to feed him like soft food. Pedigree. Go ahead, Riza. Oh, not interested. Go. I think he wants to. He's just. Yeah, not interested. No appetite still. Okay. I'm gonna try to feed him by hand. No. 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 Small. Just a tiny piece. No. Nope. I feel like he's more thirsty than anything. He's drinking lots of water. Oh no, he drank all the water! Alright guys, positive affirmation for Tuesday, December the 14th. I move through forgiveness to love. There you go guys, hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. I move through forgiveness to love. Alright guys, wow, what a relief. Super grateful um, that Rizal will be okay, it seems. Um, this will be a crazy week. Guys, RJ is already talking about possibly sleeping outside for the first night or, or more. Um, because if we leave him alone, he'll probably cry. OMG. Anyways, thank you so much for your prayers, Mubu High Squad. And once again, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabu High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Yes. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.